Hello and welcome to this electrical principles training video. In this video we're going to be considering what happens when you place a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. So this is a subject that may be uh, considered by uh, your lecturers as force on a conductor. So we've got our uh, electronics board set up and ready to go from Matrix. We're going to bring the camera in and we're going to have a look at what happens to this conductor. Let's have a look. So we've set up a circuit here, a very simple circuit, and what we're going to do here is we're going to take a current from our DC supply, that DC current is going to run through our switch, and then it's going to run across this part of the circuit here. So here we've got uh, kind of just a, a bare connection here and here, which this uh, piece of conductor here, this piece of aluminium, can just sit across those two. So the current's actually going to flow through that piece of aluminium, from one side of the circuit to the other, and then the current will go back to the source like that. Now, surrounding that, we are going to put this little bit of kit here. Now, this is a magnet, a permanent magnet. And as you can see, we've got our north pole here and our south pole here. And that's just going to sit over the conductor. And what that's going to do is it's going to affect that conductor. So what do you think will happen? When we apply the current to this circuit, how do you think this conductor will behave? We'll have current flowing through the conductor to here and then through that piece of aluminium conductor which is free to move notice and then out of the circuit. So how do you think that's going to behave? Well let's bring the camera right in close and we'll see. So we've got our conductor sitting inside our magnetic field. We're going to apply a current to it and see what happens. So watch what happens to the conductor when we apply a DC current. So you see there that the conductor is forcibly ejected from the magnetic field. So running a current through that conductor while it's in a magnetic field causes the conductor to move. So why does the conductor move like that when we place it inside the magnetic field and run a current through it? Well, what we need to remember is that inside the conductor, inside the conductor, uh, when we pass current through there, a magnetic field is generated. And that magnetic field will surround the conductor around the outside. Now because we've got there a magnetic field generated by the current passing through the conductor and the magnetic field that is being generated by the permanent magnet, the effect is that those two magnetic fields will interact with each other and that is why the conductor is ejected. So what do you think might happen if we change the orientation of the magnet. If we change the polarity of the magnet, so we've swapped the direction that those lines of magnetic flux are going in now, what do you think is going to happen to the conductor now? Well again, let's close the switch and see what happens. So as you can see, the conductor now moves in the opposite direction. Now that will apply whether we change the direction of the magnetic field or the direction of the power supply. So what we'll do now is we'll leave the magnet in its position that it's currently in. So try and remember which way the conductor moved just now. It moved in that direction. And then what we're going to do is we're going to reverse the direction that the current is flowing through the circuit. The easiest way is just to swap that round. So now the current is flowing through that conductor in the opposite direction. And we're going to see what happens to the movement of the conductor in this situation. So remember, a moment ago when the current was going uh, one way around the circuit, the conductor moved that way. So let's see what happens now. So you see the conductor is now back moving in the original direction. So this is a very interesting phenomenon that we've just observed here, this conductor being moved by the magnetic field. But what's the practical application of this? What can we actually use it for? Well, what we've demonstrated here is the very basic beginning principle of how a motor operates. Now, what you can see from this demonstration is that actually this would not be a very effective motor because the conductor stops moving at some point. However, what we can do is we can change the way that we've got our conductor sitting in our magnetic field to generate a much more effective motor. And we'll cover how that works in a future video. In a future video, we're also going to look at how we can calculate how much force is placed on this conductor by the magnetic field and the current flowing through it. And we're also going to look at something called Fleming's left-hand rule or Fleming's motor rule. So stay tuned for future videos that explain that in more detail.